Welcome to Crank Town City. And today, we're gonna be taking old Smash Boy here and adding a, a slip roller down in, in this area. All right, just talking about the bottom two rollers for now. We will have a bracket like that that will have a nut threaded into it. Did I say a nut? A bolt threaded into it with a little plate over top to capture the bolt and keep it from spinning with the roller. And that bolt will go into the front face of the roller. And then between the two rollers to keep them paired together, I'll have some sort of sprockety thing on both of them and a little chain to pair them up. So, let's freaking do it, yo. Ah! Look at that. Six inches dead nuts. I think it's just gonna be something like that. Easy. So now we need to get this cut out, we need to get the end caps cut out, and we need to figure out what size rod is going to be on the other end and possibly cut out the sprockets. So I guess it's CNC time. press. Gotta get that out of there before someone yells at me. In my original design, I did not take into account the crank. You'd think I'd think of that first. And I'd rather have the crank on these two bottom rollers on the top so I don't have to make a notch along here for it. So I think I've left this center punch undrilled out. I think I'll drill this out to accept one of these bushings and then I'll cut out a different type of end cap here 
that I can weld a half inch piece of round stock in there and then run that through here and maybe square off the end. Got the pieces all together here. And they spin pretty easily. There is one spot on each of them where it catches. <clears throat> That's just gonna be a matter of straightening this little guy out. Otherwise, they, they're pretty dang smooth, man. But, now that I've had to add this shaft sticking out, <clears throat> It kind of defeats the whole point of this design to where I can pull these off. So either I'm going to mount this shit and just weld myself into a corner, which I'm not really opposed to, or I'm going to have to think of something. Like maybe these will just be mounted by bolts, which... I guess wouldn't be terrible, but I'm not really a fan of drilling and tapping holes, especially when they're vertical and underneath something. So I guess my next move is going to be decided by how lazy I am, which is never a good sign. So I need a chain or something to pair those two rollers together. The only chain I see back here is on my girlfriend's bike. Don't mind me. This is when I get in trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, click. Sorry, camera died. You didn't miss much. I just got these two little gears printed out and welded on there. And now I've just been ditzing around with the chain for a minute. So let's, let's get you on the tripod. Cause I'm sure you'd like to see a dude who doesn't know what he's doing with this shit. Do this shit. Seems to work. Oh, shit. Okay, it does not like this link. Alright. Now's where it all goes to shit.
she's working. As you can tell by my chain link with the scabby ass weld, I don't know how to work on bike chains at all. But she's working. Let's let's give her all a spin, huh? video is getting a little long, I'm going to go ahead and cut it there, call this part one. Now Colin Furs can build a tank in one video, I can't even build a slip roller. But next video we're going to be working on the slidey bit and finishing this whole thing up. So you know, if you like what you see, give, it, give me a subscribe, pound a little liker, and thank you. See you in the next video.